Welcome again to Come Chow With Me. It's disgusting. It's night two of our steamy cook-off show featuring the best youth radio station hosts in South Africa. The shakedown really brought the heat last night and raked up a sexy 19 points. And tonight we get to see what the best drive have up their sleeves. If you've never heard our show before, if you've never heard our show before. In fact, if you haven't heard the show, why aren't you listening, bruh? Like, where you at, bruv? It's, it's a mixture listening. of everything. Our show is a very lifestyle driven show. Um, also very educational. I mean, if you want to know the ones and twos and the, it's music as well. We really yeah. do a lot of music as well, new music. And that's what our show really does in a nutshell. Nice, best drive. Hey, Shakedown, any expectations? I think the vibe will be very nice. I'm looking forward to the vibe. Um, the Best Drive team is, is a lot of fun. Very chatty people. Um, I think the vibe is going to be pretty cool. Okay, vibes, check. Uh, what else do we need for the finale? Oh. What are we getting, guys? You got the list. I don't. You didn't say. So I've got, got the money. You got it I got the list. Okay. Yeah. What we need to not forget: cast of sugar. Yeah, and the gift. And mm. the wine. And the wine. So we'll buy two bottles of wine. The red wine. Yeah. Cool. For the nice. guests and and yeah. And yeah. Cool. Best best While the best drive heads into spa to get their shopping on, let's get back to their competition. People love to hang around us, and we think we're fun people. So already just by us being there they're gonna enjoy the company you know it's jokes chats you know they're gonna enjoy it the best drive unpacks all their goodies and gets to cooking time is not on our side yeah. um you can start unpacking i'll go and then we'll start chopping um yeah let's, go. let's get on it so what are we having for the starter a pig swimming in heartwarming pee <laughs> <laughs> and corn chowder. <laughs> oh, that's 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 lovely. So it's it's pork trotters. It's pork trotters in um, pea. Uh, yeah, pea. but in hot warming pea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they're gonna make like the pea. Um, they're gonna blitz it with the corn and make like a almost like a pup of sorts. Pork trotters and pup. Sheesh, Muhao, save us! So what I'm starting with first is that I need to sweat some um, peppers. So I have some green pepper here, some red and yellow, a bit of a variation compared to the original recipe, and some onion. I'm gonna just melt it in some butter before I put in some flour to create a roux and pour in some chicken stock. He fries his robot peppers, sieves flour for thickness, grinds corn, wait, what? Throws his peas and ground corn in the pot and lets it simmer. He places bacon on a tray and chucks it in the oven to crisp. And now for the main. Imvu Islatini. What's Imvu? Isn't it a sheep? Goat? So. Sheep? Sheep. Uh, sheep. Yeah. In the bush. In the bush. It's a goat. It's in the bush. We're going to be eating goats in the bush. Is it going to be cooked though? They're going to serve us live game. <laughs> Uh, Kruger's not going to be very happy about that. Um, okay. It doesn't sound exciting. Yeah! <laughs> Especially if you don't know what the dish is, it's very difficult to kind of mm. imagine it. Um, I'm, I'm, not so, I'm not sure about the main. I'm not sure about the main. Yeah. They sound pretty excited. So who is cooking this imbu? I'm taking care of the, the main shandies, you know, the main meal. Now that I have all my meat in the bowl, I'm going to wash it. And then after that, I'm going to put it in the pot, let it boil a little bit, maybe 35 to 40 minutes, just so it could be nice and soft. And then we're going to start seasoning it, adding all the other pieces that will bring it to this amazing homey meal. So let's go. So he washes his meat and throws it in a pot, mutilates some sweet potatoes for his mash, adds aromat to his imbu and lets it boil. So what's for dessert? Testing one, two, three, brulee. That's definitely a creme brulee, but it was like an African twist because it seems like this is the, the theme. So maybe like a creme brulee, or like a... Well, what's the testing one, two, three? Yeah, I think that's got maybe a reference to the fact that we work in radio. So if you're testing a mic, it's testing one, two, three. So maybe it's creme brulee shape. No, that, that theory it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Or oh, three brulees. Testing one, two, three brulees. Maybe there's three different kinds of brulees. Br I don't know. Actually, that sounds more interesting than the actual dish. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> I also, I, I hate creme brulee, so. I like creme brulee. Um, it's just would be very disappointing if it flops. So no flops then, Zeppi. So I'm in charge of dessert. <laughs> 
I did enough practice, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start separating the egg whites to the egg yolks, and then from there I'm gonna cook the cream a bit, and then once that starts boiling, I'm gonna mix it all together, put some sugar wherever the sugar is, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. I've set it already to 160, and then from there I'm gonna put it in the freezer so that it can set, yes. Sebi beats her egg yolks, puts cream in a pot to boil, mixes the cream and egg with sugar. In the oven it goes to bake before it's refrigerated to set. And Sebi hooks up the table decor to perfection. Overall, I think this menu looks interesting. Um, I'm, it, it didn't really excite me. Mm. You know, I'm not necessarily looking forward to anything in particular. But if I were to say one thing, I would say the dessert, the tasting one, two, three brulee, because I'm, I'm a bit curious to know what that's all about. Okay then, what do y'all think about the theme? Traditionally relaxed. I trust Sabi came up with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sabi definitely came up with that. Um, also, it's winter. I don't know if I want to go yeah. to a dinner in a bear shoe. Now I have to go and find a Setswana you know, blanket. At least you can a wear a Sana blanket. Morena. What's a Sana Morena? Isn't it that blanket, the Ibambe? <laughs> 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 Let's see those outfits, best drive. What boys? Hey! You look at No one. You look at you look amazing. In a, in a ah! Yeah, well, anyway, let's go. It's not about that today. It's about serving our guests, okay. right? Yeah. And we've got a beautiful outside area. The setup is already done. Yes. Our food is ready. Let's go welcome our guests now. All right. <laughs> Your show, guys. It's showtime. As we arrive at this lovely home that the Best Drive has invited us to, uh, I have a, a first pointer that comes to mind and that there's tall gates of people that you need to hug in order to get to the welcome drinks area. Awesome, you look good. amazing. Good, thank you thank so you. much. Hi. Oh, this is such a good Always to the theme, yeah, can always sorry. trust you. <laughs> Hi, Dolly. How are you? Great, thank you. Get yourself a glass, you can get yourself a drink. Thank welcome you. to the Best Drive Mansion. Please. I'm not gonna lie, which was the best part. So we have um, a Best Drive special. Oh, what's in, uh, what's in the Best Drive special? We'd special? like for you to tell us what is it. It's a secret. It's a okay. secret. Right. Okay. So we'd like you guys to try it out. I'm pouring it from a vase. <laughs> wow, okay. Let me just go check on my home. It's the Best Drive. <laughs> Um, there you go. Um, Thank you, Sabi. No problem. Mm. I don't know why I'm shaking, but here you go, Mto. Ah. Um, you can go, you know, down the road to go get a, a jug or, I mean, I don't know. Um, but the least they could have done was to have the welcome drinks poured already before we arrive so that they don't have to deal with the embarrassment of pouring it from a vase. Flowers were in there. It's disgusting. Let's hope there aren't flowers in the starter. For the starter, pig swimming in a heartwarming pea and corn chowder. This is interesting, how you made this, hey? The starter. I did. The chowder. Yeah. What was the process behind this meal? Was it taxing to make? So, yeah, um, to get the thickness, you need flour, but mm. you need to put the flour in a certain time. Mm. Then from there on, you need to kind of like pray that it thickens up. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> because you put it at the beginning, then you cook it for like about 45 minutes before you add anything else. Mm. So if it's watery, then you have a problem. Yeah. Which means you have to start again from the beginning. I mean, with mine, it, it's kind of um, yeah, a little too thick. I call it thickly on, say, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's kind of curdling at the top, and I don't like yeah, sort I think, of like cream that curdles. Yeah, it's because. Gavins. Yeah, it's because it has cream and milk, and you can't oh, yeah. avoid that, especially if it's cool enough. Sure. Mm. To be honest, I've never had a chowder before, so I didn't know what to expect. Um, but the chowder, the chowder is interesting. It's an acquired taste. It looks interesting. It does look like regurgitation. Excuse us? With some parsley sprinkled with some bacon. The reception, I think it was cold. But it's great because I sell a chowder, which I hope it warmed them up a little. Um, as you can see, most of my plates are empty. Uh, then you have this person. That's hate. Wonder who that was? Chowder. No. 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 Maybe you'll prefer the main? For the main, Envo et Latini. So dig in. So 
Yeah. Yes. Like See, potatoes. Yeah. Sweet potato. Mm. Yeah. What's in a bed of sweet potato? Sweet potato mash. <laughs> it's mm. a bed, all right. Mm. That was the whole point. That was the whole point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because I shot in you, most likely going to find lots of... The was found shaking with this bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an ancestor, so I don't understand why I'm being served burnt offerings for mains. Um, what's this smoky flavour I'm, I'm tasting? Mm. Smoky, uh... Yeah. It looks a like a bit of a burnt... Yeah. Let's use the right word. Okay. Oh, and uh, of course, yeah. the return of the sweet corn. We had it in our starters and our mains as well. We're going to have a sweet corn brulee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you must also I'm watch really, your, your weight. I'm really enjoying the meat, guys. I don't want to We'll come back in the It's good to have you back. We told you that shot was going to do one this. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <I'm doing. laughs> Sabby? I didn't forget to season my vegetables. We just didn't want to overdo anything. Just same with the with the stew. We didn't want to overdo it in a sense of spice, sauce, salt. We just wanted to keep it very cool, very cool for everyone's taste in the sense of you can taste the salt. But if you want to add a little bit more, because some of us love salt, some of us don't love salt, you can add it to your own discretion. Okay, time for dessert. Seppi sprinkles caster sugar over her set custard and crystallizes it. She adds some gooseberries and raspberries to garnish and her testing 1-2-3 brulee is ready to serve. Looks fruity. It's time for dessert. Is, is the theme somehow re re repurposing or recycling of some sort? Yes. No. Okay, so I mean in the starter in the we, had, bush? we had corn and in the mains we had corn as well. So here we have the raspberries and the gooseberries from the cheese board. Yes. Exactly. Oh, okay. Mm. We're going green with our food. That's exactly. Yes. 2019. Absolutely. Yes. Body yes. goals. We have Enjoy. Mm. Every Thank Tuesday, 1630. <laughs> Body goals. I'm waiting <laughs> for this crack. Listen to that. I found some gold in here, guys. Uh, uh, well, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I need to make an incision. <laughs> You're stupid. Enjoy the dessert. I, I, I appreciate that there was a crack. It's just that she may have overburned the sugar because it started tasting a little bitter. Um, the filling was amazing. Um, but as I look to my right or to my left, Sabi is now taking off the sugar as well as the gooseberries. And I thought I was just being nice by eating their menu. So it was quite interesting to see that even he couldn't stomach it. But hey, I'm just a guest. I didn't enjoy it. Um, it's still sitting at the table because I can't finish it. It was worth the wait. It was good. Our Seppi, you got that one right. Overall, I'm gonna give them a six. They deserve that. Started out a little shaky the mains were a little charred for my liking and the dessert didn't really get my sweet tooth so uh, for that reason for mediocre night i'm going to give you a five with the best drive at 11 out of 30 nia would have to give them a rather hefty score for them to win so uh may the best team win are my shoes just not scaring you guys <laughs> <laughs> So, teams. Yes. Oh, the sober one. Great night, uh -huh. right? Yes. Great nights. Yes. Even when you guys hosted your nights. Mm. And of course, we know the winner of this here challenge gets to do what? Gets to give a prize away on their show. Exactly. Their gets to give away spa vouchers on their show. Two spa vouchers okay. on their shows. So, Whoa. it's also for a very good cause, right? Wow. Valued at how much? Valued at however much we want. <laughs> So with that being said, it's been a great couple of nights, two nights that we had. Thank oh, yeah. you very much, Shakedown, for hosting us. Thank you, Best Drive Boys, for doing the best as well. Yeah. These results Amazing. are obviously not a reflection on anybody's personality, sure. on anybody's talent. Cool. So I'm going to tell you the results. Oh, gosh. All right. <sighs> there was once upon a time, mm -hmm. a six plus six oh, plus seven. Ooh, that's too high. Taking it to a 19. 
Mm. I guess you'll guess who that is. With that being said, <laughs> the winner <laughs> of Come Chow With Me yeah, 2019 on YTV uh -huh. is The Shake. <laughs> I gave them a six, and the extra point came from the lamp. You gave them a seven. I'm not giving them a six. I gave them a six. <laughs> My lamb shanks were falling off the bone, and their lamb chocolates <laughs> were tough. I had to fight them. So, <laughs> cheers to that. Let's have another game. Who washes trash better? We'll see who wins. Papa in us, please.